Hello, everyone. This is John Turner McClelland with Cooper Mac Realty Group, powered by Worth Clark Realty. Today, we have Bob Wilcox with Wedgegate Designs. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing very well, John. Good to talk to you this morning. You too. It's glad to meet you on Zoom, finally. We've had emails before and never actually spoken to each other. So we want to um, learn a little bit about you today and what your company does um, for people. Um, okay. Tell us what Wedgegate Designs does. Well, Wedgegate Designs does business uh, with a company called Mailbox Power. And what Mailbox Power is all about is helping entrepreneurs and independent business people and just regular folks stay in touch with the people that are important to them. Uh, we know that uh, a great many business people uh, know they should be contacting their clients, staying in touch with their clients, but they run out of time. They, they you just get distracted with a thousand other things going on and it doesn't happen. And we also know that business people, it's very important for business people to say thank you, to express gratitude to clients. But that too can very quickly fall by the wayside. 90% uh, of all sales and business people just don't get around to it because it's a time consuming process. Well, what we do is we automate that and make it very easy for people to say thank you, make it very easy for people to stay top of mind with their clients. And that's important because you want to retain the clients you already have. It costs you know, much less to retain a client than it does to get a new one. And so retaining clients is important. And of course, by retaining those clients, you get incremental sales and you also get better referrals from those clients because you're staying in touch with them. And so we try to automate that process and make it a very personal, uh, personalized and a very uh, automated way of staying in touch with people. Right, it's, it's a great product for salespeople, you know, like people like me who are realtors. Obviously mm -hmm. you targeted me for that reason initially. Yeah. Do a very poor job of follow-up um, unless it's automated. Uh, well, I've got a couple of realtors are some of my favorite people. And uh, there's a fellow in Arizona uh, a couple of years ago decided to send out Christmas cards to people that he had had as clients, you know, 10, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And he sent out a lot of these uh, cards. A lot of the cards came back to him, you know, undeliverable. And so he started doing some research uh, with all these people. And he very quickly discovered that, first of all, all those people to whom he had sold homes had sold the homes to somebody else with another realtor. And that over those years, those people he had lost touch with, uh, there were enough of them that he figured it out he lost about a quarter of a million dollars worth of business. Simply because he says, because he hadn't stayed in touch with his old clients. Now that's how important it is. Uh, another realtor story, uh, a lady I know in, I think she lives in Florida, one of my colleagues, but she's a realtor and um, now about a month ago, she sent out a whole parcel of St. Patrick's Day cards to everybody that was in her book. You know, that was probably several hundred cards that she's out just wishing them a happy St. Patrick's Day. But what happened was that that brought her top of mind to all those people she had in her address book. And she got three new listings out of that. So, you know, it, it's very powerful. It's not that we're selling all the time. It's yeah. that we're keeping ourselves top of mind. You know, the average customer forgets about you about 15 minutes after they, they leave your presence because they're on to other things. They're doing, they're doing their life. And uh, so they're not thinking about you all the time. So it's our job as entrepreneurs, as business people, to stay top of mind with people. That doesn't mean selling them all the time or, or pitching a product all the time. It means making sure that we are memorable so that when people do need our product or service, they instantly think of us, or when they encounter somebody else who needs our product and service, they automatically raise their hand and say, I know somebody who's really good at this, and they come back to us. Right, and I'm sure most people, even myself, even before getting into real estate, can probably name five or 10 friends who are realtors. Um, One of the great things we do, and I, I just love this, is we recommend that everybody has a birthday club. Now, I have, I have my own birthday club. I've got 400 people on my birthday club. And the way it works is I, I've created a card that says happy birthday. It's a, it's a kind of a generic card, so it, it's appropriate for male, female, what have you. Um, and it includes a, a little gift, a, a brownie, 
or a package of popcorn, something like that. And about seven days prior to this person's birthday, the system automatically prints the card, triggers the gift, puts it together in a box and sends it to them. I don't even have to think about it. It just happens. Now, the secret has been to then have about halfway through the year, have a happy birthday card. And the power of the happy birthday card is that it comes when nobody's expecting it. You know, I don't even think about my own half birthday, but I got some happy birthday cards this year from people that uh, that I know. And it just it just means something. And so when this happy birthday card arrives, again, with another little gift or popcorn, what have you in the package, it just creates this wonderful moment of delight. And it's those moments of delight that create a bond between you and your recipient. So what did you um, well, let me back up for a moment? You're, you do live in Plano, right? Mm -hmm. how, how long have you lived here? Uh, I moved to Plano in 1996. Okay. Where'd you move from? Uh, well, actually, we've been, I've been living for about a year in, um, two years in uh, Oak Cliff. That's where I moved when I first came here and came here from Houston. And from Houston, uh, prior to Houston, I lived in Denver, Colorado. So what were the moves for? Was it for work? Oh, well, that was a job. <laughs> you, know, you, you follow the old job around. Okay. Uh, I worked for a little company called uh, Electronic Data Systems, EDS, mm -hmm. and they uh, they got me to Houston, and then they brought me to, to Dallas, and then uh, we parted ways, as sometimes happens with jobs, but I worked, uh, my last uh, gig here was with a company called RealPage, which is just down the road here in Richardson, uh, right on Central Expressway. What did you do for them? Did you do marketing or was it about? I, no, I, well, I was actually tied to the marketing department, but I did online training. Uh, my team and I created the uh, learning products that go along with the software that they develop. So people could, if they were having trouble with their software, they could click a button and, and uh, a little animation would come up and my voice would say, okay, now you go do this, uh, fill out this line here, push this button, you know, here's what you do, and then now go back to work. <laughs> so just in time training was what it was all about. Well, you have a good uh, training voice for it. <laughs> good well, radio voice is what they would say. Yeah, I, I, I have a I have a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Most people do. <laughs> so, they don't necessarily have the voice for radio. Yeah. Or or for Zoom. Yeah. Uh, so what made you decide to start Wedgegate? Well, um, I actually I retired a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, I had used a service very similar to the one I'm now affiliated with uh, for years because I believed in the value of it. I believed in the value of, of being nice to people and saying thank you and remembering people's birthdays and all that kind of thing. That was important to me. So I'd used a service. I, I hadn't treated it as a business, but I just used it. And when I retired, um, I, I've known for years that when you retire, it's important to have something to do, something to, something to refocus your, your life. Because if you sit down and do nothing, you die. Yeah. And as Jim Rohn would say, I didn't sign up for that class. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it, I just thought, okay, I've never really been an entrepreneur. I, I've been a, a computer guy. Uh, always sit in my office. I do my computer work. You know, leave me alone. Just feed me under the door. I'll be happy. And uh, I thought, okay, let's see if I can make this work. Let's see if I can become an entrepreneur. Let's see if I can be a business person. And relate to people. So I started going to networking groups and getting familiar with people and learning how to do this business. And I came to this company because it, I thought they had a superior product. Uh, it, the value was great. Uh, the, the, the value of the product is amazing because it doesn't cost very much. And it permits business people to really focus on growing their relationships in their business with their clients. And I like the idea of that. So my, my purpose right now is to help individual business people or corporations, it doesn't make any difference, I work with all of them, to leverage this technology in order to build their, um, their client base or for that matter, even employees. Uh, one of my colleagues uh, te uh, teaches uh, groups, companies to use this in their HR department. And what they do is, is they teach their middle management, upper management, middle management to use this technique to reach out to, to the employees to say thank you. 
for, for what you contribute to the company. Remembering employees' birthdays. Even more important, remember the employees' families' birthdays. Because if you support the family, the family will support the employee. You know, that, that kind of thing. And little rewards, so, uh, you can print certificates, um, you know, the good old attaboy certificates. But if they're given spontaneously and easily, it means a lot to the employee. And so they use it for onboarding, uh, rewarding people for learning their process and, and doing their work. It is just a great way to build that kind of, of, uh, of unity in the team that most companies need to have to reduce the amount of turnover that they have. And uh, some people have uh, been able to do a great, a great reduction in the turnover in the company simply because they're now treating their employees uh, as valued participants in the company. And this is a great way to do it. Yeah, so some companies need to work on that. The, uh, I, I worked, agreed. <laughs> I worked in, for the same company for almost 19 years prior to what I'm doing now. And um, that was not their forte yeah. <laughs> at all. There was no, there was no onboarding. There was no, um, I would say, employee appreciation <sighs> that we bugged our manager until he relented to buy us food. <laughs> <laughs> and well, let's it got to the point one of my coworkers would write down when he agreed to it, so he could argue with him later that it's been four months or whatever since we had pizza or, <laughs> or whatever he was going to get us. You know, those little pieces of recognition are more right. important than most people realize. It doesn't have to cost a fortune. I know. But just a little piece <laughs> that says, I appreciate you. You mean a lot to me. You are so valuable to our company. Thank you for what you do. And that means a lot to a person. And that sort of builds that kind of loyalty that you want to have in, in your employees and your friends. You know, I, I was thinking about it the other day. Um, you know, I have a lawn person that comes to service my home to mow my lawn. I have the, um, uh, the air conditioned people that come out twice a year. Uh, I have the maids that come once in a while to clean up after me. You know, I got all kinds of people that service my home and my life, my dentist, my doctor and all and so on. Yeah. But I think about all the hundreds of dollars that I spend with these people every year. And I have never gotten a thank you from any of them. So, you know, I, I just spent $1,500 putting a new crown in my mouth with my dentist. You think I got a thank you card? <laughs> no. Uh, I've never gotten one. <laughs> so the, qu the question is, why do we continue to do business with people who don't appreciate us? All right. So what I'm trying to get at is I'm trying to teach people, you know, you need to say thank you to your clients when they bless you with money, <laughs> which is, is very important. You know, we all want that. When they bless you with money, when they bless you with business, say thank you. It's important. What you're doing is building that relationship you want with that potential client. Um, statistics say that most sales occur between the fifth and the twelfth contact. So you need various ways to keep that contact going. Most salespeople will stop after the third contact. You should be able to see my screen now. Yep. So let me log in real quick. This is the uh, the front page, and uh, here we can. Uh, let me just scroll through this just to give you a quick overview. We have personalized cards. We have personalized drinkware, coffee mugs, uh, water bottles, the gourmet food items, uh, brownies and uh, popcorn and other things. Uh, we have personalized gifts of various Personalized golf balls are really popular with people. That's great. We can even print right on the boxes that the items come in. Um, personalized pet gifts are great for people who have pets. Uh, otherwise, personalized prints of various kinds. There are other gift options that are not personalized. They're just gifty items that you can send. And of course, we have limited time things that are surround holidays like Valentine's Day and Christmas and so on. So that's how it works. Um, if I want to really quickly send something, I can go to what we call our design store. And in the design store, there are thousands of thousands of things that are already pre-designed that you can purchase the design and then it becomes yours. And you can use it as often as you want to for the rest of your life. It's the kind of thing. So just to really quickly show you some things here, I'm going to search for Wedgegate. These are happen to be my designs, so a little self-promotion going on here. Um, uh, all kinds of things, uh, various kinds of calendars. 
this uh, this calendar is a, a large uh, stick up calendar that you can actually peel off the background and stick it anywhere. And if you don't like it there, you can peel it off, put it somewhere else. It, uh, it's a very popular item. But uh, let's say, for example, that I was looking for oh, this is this has been a popular item here. Um, a home teacher survival kit. This was designed for teachers who are having to yeah, work at home. Definitely this past year. <laughs> yeah, for this past year. And it, it's got some brownies and some popcorn and some other things and, and a, a card in there that says uh, we support you in what you're doing. So it, it's been a very popular item. The generic, uh, colorful, fabulous birthday card. It has a box, has a brownie, it has a mug, a coffee mug. So if I wanted to send this to somebody, all I would have to do, because we use what are called merge fields. So say, hey, first name. So it'll take the first name out of the address book and put it right on the card for me. And return first name, that'd be my name. So I don't even have to touch this. It's all ready to go as is. So all I have to do is say, I want to send this to somebody. I'm going to add it to my cart. And it comes back. And here's the cart. And all I have to do is select a recipient. There we go. Now the, now the recipients show up. <laughs> But uh, then it's oh, a matter like that, of that card is showing, you know, 50 cents. Are they tacking on uh, shipping or tax or anything to that? We, that? we pay the government postage just like everybody else. So a standard first class card is 55 cents postage. Now, one, one of the very interesting things is uh, we send various sizes of postcards, but our four by six postcard, if you have a pro account, which is $49 a month, all of your postcards, your four by six postcards are free. All you pay is the postage. So for for people who like to farm, uh, you know, farm market, uh, reach out to a, like a whole neighborhood or a whole list of people, you can send them all a postcard and just pay the postage. 100 postcards would be $37. So it's, a, it's a, an incredible value for people who like to do farming. So, you know, realtors and others. Um, if, I were a, if I were a chiropractor, for example, I'd be pulling, I'd be going to our uh, uh, list builder and I'd be looking for all the people who are brand new in a zip code in the last 60 days. And I would send them a free postcard that says, you know, now that you're welcome to the neighborhood. And uh, by the way, I'm a chiropractor and let me know if I can serve you. So and you have different have, uh, membership levels. I see. From the actually, we actually, we have two membership levels. Uh, our regular retail membership is, um, uh, well, it's free. <laughs> what it boils down to, you pay retail prices for things. So a standard greeting card for a retail membership would be a dollar ninety nine. That's like one of these. Dollar ninety nine. That's the the regular member price. The light member. A pro member is somebody who has a forty nine dollar a month subscription. But look what happens to the prices. That card goes down to fifty cents. Bob, that was great information. Um, it was great to learn about you and learn about Wedgegate Designs. Uh, tell people how they can find you or if they want to sign up or, or even become their own um, entrepreneur themselves. Yeah, that's always a possibility. Uh, you can always reach me at uh, bob at kywd.com. And if you want to go directly to the website, you would go to www.mailboxpower.com slash Wilcox, which is my last name. Great. And we will put that in the description at the bottom of the video. That'd be great. And for people going on park bench, they'll be able to find you there as well. Bob, it was a pleasure today learning about you and Wedgegate. Hope to talk to you again soon. Well, John, I really appreciate the opportunity. And it's nice to see you face to face for <laughs> at last. And I uh, hope we can do this again sometime. Great. Thanks for coming today. Everyone watching, thank you for watching us. This has been John Turner McClelland with Cooper Mac Realty Group. Everyone have a pleasant day. Bye.